Austin police confirming they are investigating a former Austin firefighter. Part of the evidence they're looking at, video of him talking about paying for child pornography, but no arrest or charges have been filed at this time. KXAN investigator Kylie McGivern obtained that video that circulated among firefighters this week. Kylie? Yes, Robert and Sydney. It is this search warrant that says this all started when a woman who had been in a relationship with Eric Spolteholtz posted a video on Facebook. We've learned the Austin Firefighters Association turned over the video to police on Wednesday, the same day he retired from AFD. <laughs> It, you know, obviously, it's incredibly despicable and sickening. Bob Nix, president of the Austin Firefighters Association, says firefighters became aware of the video showing Eric Spolteholtz this week. What we know is, is that several hundred firefighters received a messenger. A Facebook message sharing this. For what you are a money or two or for? Those pictures of the little kid. And how much money did you send this woman in all? I know. Oh, probably over $700. And you told her certain things that you want from her. The, yeah, yeah. Just take pictures, like, you know, it's normal. Not like do anything abusive, not like, you know, do anything bad like that. Just take the pictures, naked pictures. No, no sexual acts or anything like that. So you, you're attracted to three or four year olds? No, it was just kind of the excitement of actually happening was more important than anything else. It wasn't like, I could really not do the three or four years, but the, the attraction that it was actually happening, yeah, that was important. Police interviewed the woman you can hear asking those questions. She described another instance 18 years ago when he allegedly played a sexual video of a young girl with an adult male. According to the search warrant, she had concerns later on that he may be attracted to her own teenage daughter. Spolteholtz has been with the Austin Fire Department for more than 20 years. AFD says it started to investigate, but before it went any further, Spolteholtz retired. Because he is no longer with the department, AFD tells us, it's not investigating. They need to investigate to the extent they can be assured that they've learned everything they can about this event, event and it didn't go any further than this, this one former firefighter. As the chair of Austin's Public Safety Commission, Rebecca Weber agrees with the union president. It will be very important to uh, conduct an investigation to make sure that nothing ever happened while this person was on duty. When someone retires from a public safety department under a cloud of scrutiny, that doesn't mean that the issue has been put to rest. A spokesperson for the fire department tells us they can't get into any specifics on any allegations. As APD's investigation remains ongoing, we want to reiterate at this time no charges have been filed. We have not been able to locate Spolteholtz for comment. Back to you.